welcome to Rosie Crafted Colours. Today I'm bringing you a review and flip through of a book I'm really excited to share. This is Mega Babes Colouring Book 2 by Jared Elvin, who as you all know, I am a huge fan of his art style. I think it's really cool. So the reason I'm so incredibly excited to share this with you is because this picture of Kemi was coloured by me. <laughs> um, yeah, so Jared um, asked me to colour this picture in and I was all too pleased to. I absolutely love the picture I coloured and I love that she's on the front of here. I coloured her in Prismacolors. Um, the only thing Jared had to do was darken up her skin tone because I didn't quite get her skin tone right because she is supposed to be a little bit more of a darker skin tone than I um, achieved. But I am so pleased with my picture being on the front of this book. It is the hugest compliment and I am blown away. I truly am blown away by being asked to do such an amazing thing. So thank you very much, Jared. You have no idea what it meant to me. So... This book is Amazon Create Space and it is just below A4. If you have a look on the back, they've got some images of the seven uh, mega babes that J Jared is drawing at the moment who are all coloured. I think he colours these on Illustrator or Photoshop or something like that. Um, but here they are, beautiful. It gives you an idea of what they should look like. And just down here is a little naming of me and my Instagram, which is really nice to see. So thank you, Jared. So before I carry on flipping through the book, I would like to just say that Jared does not create these girls to objectify women. They are pin-up in style, but these girls are strong, independent, tough women. They aren't um, just floaty women to be objectified and looked at. They aren't just sexy because they are quite sexy really but they aren't just that they are strong women every character because they are all characters they're not just pictures are completely tough and completely independent they are fantastic role models really for for any girl so here we go we start off with um, the title page and we get on to the first image on each um, image there is this frame and Jared has a little bit of something written there just to tell you something about the page. So this is his Halloween shoot for October 2018 and it's a fidget and I don't think she's ever looked any cooler. I love this image. It's just so beautiful. She's like like a, a zombie vampire mummy. It's just the creativity is out there. This is one of the pictures that I love the most which has put me off colouring it because Oh, I want to do it justice. I mean, I do have the PDF version of it, so I could redo it if I got it, um, if I didn't quite do it how I liked it. So, yeah, but just a gorgeous image. Here we have the image that I coloured that is on the front cover. So here is my um, coloured in version of it. I used Prismas, I used Posca pens. I drew in these baubles just to add some detail to the back. I also brought her hair down along here because her hair is like a hologram, so that is why it's pixelated and it's get, getting lighter as it goes down. But yeah, a really fun image and it looks like Kemi has stolen the naughty list, crossed it out and put it as the night li nice list and she's like, no Santa, there's no naughty list this year, mate. <laughs> so here is Dot celebrating Happy New Year. This is his January 2019. New Year shoot and she looks really joyful with all these fireworks going off around her. A really fun page to do I think. I think if you blacked out um, the background and then picked up on all these fireworks of like glittery gel pens or neon gel pens that could look really really cool. Here is Femme Patel looking amazing for Valentine's Day. I love this highly detailed lingerie. Um, I think I'd be tempted to do this in pinks and reds, all this lingerie, and um, keep it quite um, simplified with the palette because otherwise it could go crazy. But I'd love to see this coloured in, so I think it's one that I will hopefully colour in soon. I'll get the time to. There's just not enough time to colour all the pictures I want to colour. Here we have Vanessa as the Easter Bunny and 
she doesn't look like the kind of Easter bunny I'd want hopping up to give me Easter eggs with those big um, blades on her nails and blades in her hair. But she just looks really cool. Very sort of Playboy bunny-ish. Here is Demi, Demiana. I think that's how you say her name. Jared did tell me how to say her name. But Demiana is what I'm going to call her. So I'm sorry if it isn't the right name. But here she's bursting out of a birthday cake to celebrate somebody's birthday it's very reminiscent of that um, Marilyn Monroe singing happy birthday Mr President <laughs> so really really cool very interesting I love how the cake is just bursting it's just so cool here we have Scythe looking absolutely amazing as a grim reaper I just love this she sat astride this um, jack-o-lantern and I'm sorry, but this is amazing. I love this page. It's so cool. I love her spiderweb fishnet tights. That is cool. And if you look under here, you can see like bones. And I don't know whether um, they're her bones or if it's a detailing on her tights or something. But I think it's a detailing on her tights because there's more than one. So yeah, looking really, really, really fantastic. So highly detailed. Must have taken taken Jared ages to do that. So now we move on to the mermaid shoots and our first image is of Fidget looking rather cute in her mermaid style. Um, she has a little fish here. I think if you really like Little Mermaid you could maybe um, colour her as the Little Mermaid. That would be quite cool. I quite like to colour mermaids with um, sort of fantasy coloured skin because I feel like they'd be the same sort of colour as their their tail but yeah I think she'd make a great little mermaid if that's what you're into so really really cool here we have Kemi looking absolutely gorgeous look at this pixelated hair of hers just flicking back her fin is pixelated she's got some fins here she looks amazing this will be such a fin fun image to colour I think it, I did her hair, pixelated her hair by by bringing in um, gel pens and, and just dappling them and then fading them out slightly. So yeah, that that's going to be a really fun image to colour. Um, and I think a really fun image with colour, like you could really play with colour here because she is a hologram. Maybe her hair could be rainbow, maybe it could gradiate in rainbow and so could her fins. Just beautiful. Here is Dot coming out of the water on her dolphin friend. I love how her hair really does look like it's wet. It looks like it's heavy and it's it's draping down. She's got little fish bones as her earrings. Very, very cool. Love this image. It's so cool. And here we have Femme Fatale as a lionfish mermaid. My gosh, doesn't she look beautiful? I think this is the best I've seen Femme Fatale. It's definitely my favourite image of her that I've seen, I think. I say I think because I've got loads of um, Patreon images of her, so it's hard to know if it is my favourite. She just looks gorgeous though. I mean, she just looks stunning. And here we have the image I coloured in, and this is Vanessa as a jellyfish mermaid. Um, I decided to keep it um, on the cooler tone of colours, so I used alcohol marker for the back, I used Posca pens for the bubbles, and then um, I used Prismacolors to colour her in, and I decided on a teal and blue scheme to keep it quite um, cool toned, and then I decided very early on I wanted the little baby jellyfish to be a different colour because I wanted it to stand out, and I feel like it does stand out, the little baby jellyfish. I mean, it's such a lovely picture. Look how in awe she looks at this little jellyfish. So I used um, some gel pens to do her hair um, blades. I did Pentel Jewel hybrid mark pencils to do her um, tentacles. And I used a wink of Luna pen to do these uh, markings on her. And then I used gel pens and Posca just to add some um, sort of mottling to it. But yeah, all in all, I'm really happy with this picture. I think it turned out really well. I'm really happy with it. And I think it's a lovely one. I think I did it justice. So here we have Damiana, Damiana in her very detailed and beautiful um, fi uh, mermaid thing. Her fin, look at that fin. That fin is beautiful. It looks like she has pearls. 
I just love it. It's so highly detailed. It's going to look gorgeous coloured in that. Yeah, I think tropical colours for that one would work the best. Really intense tropical colours. And then we have Scythe as a sort of siren um, calling people in. It's like a sort of swampy picture. Um, Jared says it's like a scary eel mermaid, which is kind of cool. But I see her as somebody who is uh, getting her prey to come to her like a siren would. And maybe this would be quite cool if the water was coloured in maybe like toxic coloured, like it was green and glowing. And she's sort of like, you know, the, the toxic water has affected her and made her this way. Really, really cool. So cool. And then we come to his new style pinup girls. So it's still his same characters, but he's um, updated their look slightly. So like on Fidget, she now has a shirt underneath her like nurse's outfit, which is looking really cool. I like the addition of her top. I think it's much nicer. She looks fantastic. Now, Kemi's outfit is very different from before and I think it's brilliant. She looks like one of those girls that's going to be like partying somewhere like Ibiza with her furry rave boots and tassels and things. And I really love how Kemi is a bit more curvy than his other girls. I think it's really important for us to have um, representation within our colouring books of different body types and ethnicities. That's another thing. Jared has put different ethnicities in his book, which is nice, you know, to see because... Kemi is a black character, which is lovely to see. I think it's nice to see different types of people, you know, different abilities, different looks and everything. That's really good. So, yeah, I think she looks amazing. Going to be a beautiful picture to colour. Here we have the sweet little emo girl, Dot, who is looking really cool in her new style. It's basically the same except slightly more realistic than before, Jared has said. Um, but yeah, she looks really, really cool. Um, I love her little um, voodoo doll earrings. I definitely would have worn them as a teenager. And I think she has like a little skull um, bracelet, which is something I had as a teenager too. This is Femme Fatale in her new outfit. Now, I love her new outfit. She has a full body suit, which makes her look like she's ready to absolutely kick butt. I think she looks amazing. Um, I prefer this much more over the just lingerie that she had before. I think this is um, just phenomenal. She looks brilliant. And can you imagine how long it took to do all this lace in it and all these buttonholes, these uh, lace holes? I don't know what you call them. I can't think what they're called. But yeah, can you imagine how long it took to do that? Here we have the gorgeous Vanessa and she has had a blouse added to her underneath her corset just to give her a little bit more coverage. And I think she looks great. I think this picture is amazing. I love her blade fingers. She just is so tough. Really tough. You wouldn't want to start a fight with Vanessa. Here's Demiana and she is looking... Gorgeous. This is her casual wear. So I feel, I think that her outfit before is still her outfit too, but it's her like burlesque dancer outfit, whereas this is more of her casual wear. What I really love about this image is the curls look really real in her hair. And also the fabric really does look realistic. It's really clinging to her body in the way I would expect it to. And the folds look very realistic, which is so cool. She just looks really great there. Here we have Scythe in her new style. She has um, more armour added onto her. She's looking really awesome. I love all the electricity just fusing off her. What an image. She is just so tough. She's so tough. So here we are. A little bit of information um, on Jared's patron. There's also... Um, Keep an eye out for the next one, which I'm really excited for because I love Jared's artwork. So here's a little bit of information about Jared's patron. Um, I am a member of his Patreon and I definitely think it's worth it. Every month you get a beautiful image that you can colour and a lot more besides. So um, you get his final image, you get his flats, his line art, you get his rough drawing, which I think is always brilliant to see. Because a lot of us seem to think that... Um, 
a lot of us have this preconception that art like this is just completely done on computer. So it's nice to see Jared's beginnings because it isn't just done by computer. This is a really talented artist. You know, our artists are talented. They do a lot of beautiful work. Here is some information on his highest tier of patron. His highest tier is a more um, risky version of his pinups where they may be, uh, you know, wearing less clothes, which I'm not interested in, but some people might be interested in that. Also, um, as part of the tier two that I'm part of, you get his process video, which is really nice to watch. He also puts a lot of updates about his webcomic. Um, he puts his new concepts. He puts like ideas he's having. He asks for feedback. Um, he's a really friendly guy. So, you know, he's he really enjoys, I think, the um, feedback from people. I think he likes to hear that because um, for some for our artists, it can feel like they're quite alone, just drawing away. And, you know, it's quite nice for them to have some feedback. So here is a grayscale image of the, color, the picture I coloured, which would be quite nice to colour in markers. Some information about where you can find Jared. Um, you can find him on Facebook and his Instagram is brilliant. Even if you don't decide not to buy his book, please go check out his um, Instagram. His artwork is really inspiring. So yeah, that is my review of Jared's beautiful book, The Mega Babes um, Colouring Book Number 2. Um, I really love it, as you can tell. Um, I very much love it. It's a beautiful book. Yeah, I think it's well worth the money, definitely. So, yeah, um, thank you for watching my review. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all soon. Bye.